Hi there, my name is Vadim Michalenka from howtoanalyzedata.net. In this section, we're going to look at how you can create professionally looking 3D networking diagram in Microsoft Visio. So first thing you see is this screen when you launch Microsoft Visio. We're going to pick a blank drawing, or you can basically pick a, a detailed networking diagram. It doesn't matter because we're going to pick some stencils uh, that will serve our purpose the best. As you know, when you pick the blank screen, you don't have any uh, stencils here. So you have to select the stencils, and these are the uh, shapes that you're going to use when you draw your diagram. So we're going to click More Shapes button, and we're going to click Network, and we are going to click uh, Network and Peripherals 3D. I found that this is probably the most professionally looking. You might have different opinions, obviously, but that's uh, what I like. Um, and there are different shapes here. Um, you have uh, servers, ring network, pretty much all the items that you may ever need um, when you try to represent networking. We're going to start with servers and we're going to um, take the server box and we're going to bring it into the main screen. Um, I kind of envision that my diagram will be more horizontal so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna change the view of the uh, page and uh, uh, to do that I am going to go to design orientation and instead of portrait I'm gonna uh, pick landscape orientation so this way I can represent better what I'm trying to represent so this is gonna be my first server and what I'm gonna do now I am going to give the server some characteristics um, and they would be the type of operating system that server runs, location, memory, IP address, uh, IP address type, and uh, give the server name. This is not necessary for every diagram. You have to decide what you specifically want to represent. But this is something that uh, I'd like to represent here because this is something that um, uh, makes uh, value and uh, adds uh, descriptive information for my viewers. So I've added the information for my server. I'm just gonna zoom it in a little bit. And there are a couple tricks you can use in order to see this um, in a better way. First of all, you can hide the shapes and stencils. This will give you more room on the screen to see it. You can unhide them as easily. Um, or you can zoom in and zoom out into the areas. This is the zoom in button and this is the zoom out button. So what you see, it's a Windows uh, Server 2012 uh, located at Milwaukee Data Center. It has 8 gig of RAM, um, IP address, and this is the static IP. Now, I kind of don't like it when it's on the, at the bottom, so I'm going to move it to the side of the server box. In order to do that, I, I click once on the server, and you see this um, yellow box? This is uh, where the center of the text is located. So all I need to do, I just need to drag this yellow box and move it to the left of the server. So I kind of like it a little bit more. Uh, now, I also would like to add information for the server, like a server name, which is different from all of this uh, descriptive information for the server. And if you want to edit this, you can, for example, if you want to say, OK, this is my OS, which stands for operating system, you can do that. And you can say, OK, this would be bold. Uh, and the operating system name is not going to be bold, and maybe location will be bold and all this information will be bold, um, the type of information and the information itself will not be displayed as bold, right? So probably if you do that though, uh, you might wanna align it to the left. Right now it's uh, right aligned text. You probably wanna align it to the left and then um, this is how it's gonna look. And then it probably might make sense to, to have it here. So it's just gonna be more professionally looking. This is some interesting uh, tricks of what you can use in Microsoft Visio. Now, as I mentioned, I'd like to add the server name. And to do that, uh, I'm just gonna bring in, uh, there are a couple ways to do it. First of all, you can add text. Um, and you can just uh, bring a text box here. So you go insert and you insert the text box. And you can pick between horizontal text box and vertical text box. I'm going to pick horizontal text box. But in my case, I'd like to prefer to insert callouts. Um, they 
come in the different shapes and for this particular uh, server name what I'd like to do I'd like to insert the this shape and I'm gonna name it as a sales server 01 and this would be my server name so it's not a dot it's a dash 2 and this would be my uh, sales server 01 and I'm just gonna make it bold as well and you can choose fonts you can pretty much apply any formatting that you like and I'm gonna put it underneath of this server now this is my first server and the good thing is um, now I can do copy and paste uh, I can first of all I can group this three boxes I can select uh, it's actually two boxes server box with the description and the call out uh, in terms of easy objects so I can do a right mouse click and I can select group and group and now I can drag it as a single object which is very nice and you can group as many objects uh, as you need so that's the purpose of the grouping function now what uh, I can do as well I can copy this and I'm just gonna show it um, through the menu because you can also do it through the keyboard so you did right mouse click copy and then you did paste and here you go you've got a second server right and the second server might run the same operating system but will definitely have uh, a different server name and different IP address um, document sharing 01 and I'm just gonna change IP address so instead of uh, um, I have to ungroup it unfortunately grouping ungroup and now I should be able to edit text so this would be 02 um, I am going to copy it again um, and I'm just gonna copy and I'm gonna do paste so this is going to be my server 3 and this would be marketing box marketing files or marketing share it doesn't really matter as long as it represents uh, the actual names for the purpose of this demonstration I'm just gonna use marketing sharing this would be 03 and uh, now you can uh, add some other features of the typical networking diagram uh, for example you can add the firewall and you can choose the size of the firewall um, and if necessary you can use connectors and connect your server to the firewall if you choose to do that you probably would want to um, change the location and play with the location of the boxes um, so you, it wouldn't uh, overlap with your text um, so probably if you're trying to display connections it makes sense maybe to to have firewall on the left um, so let's do that I'm just gonna remove this connector I'm then gonna do control Z or you can do undo I'm gonna switch back to pointer tool drag the servers to the right have the firewall on this side and then use my connectors to connect the server here and uh, you can certainly play with the lines uh, and make it look the way you want it to so probably would make sense this would be the most professional line and uh, you can have other features of the line like arrows and some other things as you need to so this would be my second line and this would be my third line makes sense for it to go kind of to display the network connectivity thank you for watching I hope you found this information valuable and enjoyed the video please make sure to check out my other videos on the subject and please make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel
Also, if you want to learn more about uh, Visio tips and techniques, you can do it on my website at uh, www.howtoanalyzedata.net slash Visio. Uh, you can also check out the Visio training I recommend by going to www.howtoanalyzedata.net slash Visio training and make sure to sign up for my email list. I'll keep you posted on the tips, tricks and techniques and other promotions available. You can do it at www.howtoanalyzedata.net slash email. See you next time.